My name is Susan O'Shea, I'm a lecturer in sociology and I currently teach undergraduates research methods. Using a variety of different innovative methods uh, when conducting uh, sociological research or helping to teach undergraduates in particular about research methods can be very stimulating and informative. Some of those methods cross the boundaries between qualitative and quantitative methods and help to combine concepts in an in interesting and innovative way to stimulate student learning and um, to encourage them to develop their own research skills. An example of one of these tools is something called Ketso, which can be used in the classroom as a learning support tool, but also as a way of engaging students with theoretical concepts and uh, um, particular ways about trying to design their own social research project. Data can be generated from a variety of sources. For example, um, one example that we use in my teaching in the undergraduate course is encouraging students to look at data in different ways. So sometimes an image or a picture can be used as a starting point for generating data and trying to understand what that means. Uh, for example, we have here a representation of the distribution of gender on the, the cover of music magazines. Taking that data then, which is um, gathered from 1989 to 2011, counting that up, this can be then transformed into a bar chart. The second bar shows the number of men that have appeared on the cover of the music magazine between 1989 and 2008. This is taken from the data that was gathered by the person who did the art installation for Ladyfest Bristol in 2011. From the bar chart, you can see that almost 90% of people who appeared on the cover of the mu music magazine were male. So this is quite interesting. It's a, a really innovative way of showing students how one form of data can be transferred into another form of data to visually represent uh, the distribution of gender on the cover of music magazines. So the second graph that you see here is a line chart. And this is another way of representing what we saw in the cross-sectional data from the bar chart. This shows the distribution of gender over the time period 1989 to 2011. Looking at the line chart then we can see if there's been any changes in the distribution of gender over this particular time period between 89 and 2011. Just to ex explain a little bit more, uh, the line graph here is representing the covers of the music magazine New Musical Express, the NME. So we can see from the female line that just represents women who have appeared on the cover of the music magazine between 89 and 2011 and that's below the 20% mark over time and actually as low as zero at other points. The male line then represents men who have appeared on the cover of the music magazine. Uh, both represent women and men who have appeared on the cover of the NME and then non-human just represents other types of artefacts that appeared on the cover of the magazine. What I've tried to show here in the use of innovative methods from the image of the art exhibition installation including the bar chart graph and the line graph is that data can be used in ways that help engage the student beginning simply and then developing the complexity over time as they develop their skills of interpretation.